Windows Phone has never been the sort of runaway success Microsoft has hoped it would be, but they're trying again. Now it's making its debut on this, the Lumia 950. The 950 isn't just a new smartphone as far as Microsoft is concerned, it's a symbol of a new way of thinking about mobile computing. That's some pretty high-minded stuff, so let's actually start with the foundation of the 950 hardware itself. It has a hexa-core Snapdragon 808 chipset paired with three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. You can also throw in up to 200 gigabytes of external storage in the form of a micro SD card in case that's not enough. Back when Lumia's were Nokia's property, we saw a big push to try and get really amazing camera sensors into these smartphones. And Microsoft has been more than willing to try and keep that tradition going, that's why we've got an honestly pretty impressive 20 megapixel camera baked into the back of the 950. Colors are vibrant and poppy and there's plenty of detail. An interesting note though, after you take a photo, all the post-processing occurs in front of your eyes. So swiping into the gallery reveals a work in progress that will finalize after just a few moments. The end results are really impressive. Of course, taking great photos doesn't mean a whole lot if you can't look at them. And the 5.2 inch quad HD display up front is pretty good. It's incredibly pixel dense, but it's not quite as bright as other displays I've tested recently, like the iPhone 6S. It's also a little muddy in terms of the colors, although that is something you can change to your liking if you jump into the settings and into the extra settings, you've got the ability to change your color temperature and cast, which gives you a lot of flexibility in tuning this display to feel right for you. For all intents and purposes, this is a flagship phone, but it honestly doesn't feel like it. It's an incredibly plasticky body. Microsoft is still using polycarbonate to build most of the device, and even though the screen is covered in Gorilla Glass, the whole thing feels incredibly light and honestly kind of insubstantial. And it's definitely not a bad thing, but it does keep the 950 from feeling like the premium device you'd expect the first Windows 10 mobile phone to be. All of that really plays second fiddle to the software. Windows 10 Mobile is the star of the show here, and it too, like the Lumia 950 itself, is kind of a mixed bag. If you've used Windows Phone 8 before, then a lot of the broad strokes will feel familiar. So you've got a home screen full of live tiles, you've got an app launcher that's basically just a list, and you've got a quick actions bar that gives you access to your settings and notifications if you drag down from the top of the screen. There are, however, a few differences you'll notice more or less right away. First off, the store has gotten a complete overhaul. Instead of having big fonted lists of apps and categories, we've got something that's a little more akin to the grid layout of the Windows Store on desktops. And then we've got Windows Hello, which is probably going to be one of Windows 10's most unsung features. It's not going to be for everybody. Basically what it does is uses an infrared sensor on the front of the Lumia 950 to identify you by your irises. It sounds a little crazy, but it does work surprisingly well. You'll go through the setup process once and it'll take just moments, but to get it to work its best, you'll probably want to do it two or three or four times, especially if you wear glasses. It doesn't work perfectly, as you'd expect from a feature that's still in beta, but its hit rate is surprising. Now as cool as Hello is, and it is really cool, there is one feature that is far and away the standout feature of Windows 10 Mobile, and it is Continuum. So if you've got a device like the Lumia 950 and Microsoft's $99 display dock, you can link them all together using USB Type-C cables and HDMI cables running into a monitor and basically turn your phone into a tiny PC. Here's the thing though, not every app is going to work. You're gonna be looking for what are called universal apps, which basically are apps developers create using a single code base that adapts to the size of the display that you're on. When you've got your phone hooked up to a monitor and a keyboard and mouse, be they wireless or wired, you'll be able to peck out Word documents, sift through Excel spreadsheets, and create really not terrible looking PowerPoint presentations. Now, while your phone is running in continuum mode, it will get incredibly warm. It is charging basically the entire time. That does cause your 3000 milliamp hour battery to get a bit toasty. That said, battery life is quite respectable. We were able to get about 12 and a half hours out of it during our standard Engadget video rundown test. So where are we? The Lumia 950 is a respectable phone. If you're looking for something more polished or more stable, then Windows 10 Mobile isn't it. If you're itching for a phone that aspires to be more than just a box in your pocket, then the $600 Lumia 950 just might be the way to go for you. There is great, great potential here, and hopefully Windows 10 Mobile gets the chance to live up to that potential.